here's how you can use your pen tablet with your PowerPoint presentations and possibly if you have more than one monitor. So some of the lesser known tools uh, that are available during a PowerPoint presentation can actually be accessed when you move your mouse to the lower left hand corner here. For example, you can jump to individual slides by choosing that icon there. Uh, you can uh, call up a magnifier, which you can then zoom in on part of the screen and move around. Uh, and then there are several other tools as well besides that you uh, doesn't require a pen tablet. You can actually just access it using your mouse. But with a pen tablet, some of the more useful things you could do, for example, are to bring up a laser pointer, which you can point uh, using your mouse or, or pen. And a highlighting tool, which is also useful for highlighting key parts of your text. And finally, a pen tool with which you can draw. So, if you move along to your presentations, you can choose different colours uh, as needed and you can do little annotations in your diagrams, for example. And um, these can be very useful, especially when you're conducting an online lecture. Speaking of which, if you need a virtual whiteboard during a lecture, you can insert a blank white slide at the appropriate place in your PowerPoint slideshow and use that as a uh, whiteboard area uh, and then draw using the annotation tools within PowerPoint. This saves you having to uh, jump back and forth into some other application or to use, for example, the Zoom whiteboard feature. To clear what you've drawn on the screen, you can just press the letter E on your keyboard to clear all the ink on this current slide. If you happen to have more than one monitor attached to your computer, you may find that you're only using half the width of your tablet to draw on for uh, the screen you're working on. So what you can do is go to the pen tablet properties and uh, incidentally here this allows you to change uh, and customize the buttons on the uh, tablet, uh, change various other settings. But the thing we're interested in is mapping here and you can select the screen to map your tablet to. So, so the tablet will only map to the active screen you're working on and therefore you'll be able to use the full width of your tablet to annotate or draw on the screen you choose.